another beer review. Uh, today we are checking out one of the more hyped beers that I can remember trying to get my hands on. Uh, this is Abrasive from Surly. It is a huge 9% alcohol by volume Imperial IPA um, from Surly from their new uh, brewery in, I think it's Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. Uh, this beer was given to me courtesy of my buddy Dan, my Minnesota beer hookup. <laughs> um, I've heard so much about this beer um, and I'm actually, I don't know, I, I get nervous when like beers are this hyped. This is like, I think it's in the top 50 on Beer Advocate. It's like 45, somewhere around there. Um, it gets a perfect 100. I've heard so many crazy things about it. Um, I've watched videos on YouTube, people saying that this and Hetty Topper are like the two best canned beers in America. So uh, definitely tons of hype. Um, and I'm looking forward to finally, I finally got my hands on this. Uh, I guess it's, it's even tough to get in Minnesota, people. Um, line up for it at the brewery. It sells out like instantly everywhere. So um, this was canned on January the 10th. So we're still at time of recording. Like this is like three weeks old. So really, really looking forward to it. Um, so let's stop flapping our gums and check this out. And again, canned craft beers. Love them. That's a cool can too. I love that Surly logo. Good stuff. Put that there. Uh, let's see here. So this, it's crystal clear. Um, it didn't, we didn't produce too much of a head on that. I mean, I poured it fairly aggressively. I mean, half a finger of what was there is bright white, tiny little bubbles. Uh, but it's a clear kind of almost like a, like an amber color, I guess. Like a kind of dark orange tangerine looking beer. It looks great in the glass. So. Uh, the aroma on this one. Uh, very bright smelling. Uh, you get citrus up front, lots of grapefruit, orange, uh, tangerine. There's a little bit of uh, like earthy, kind of piney dankness in there. This is very reminiscent to me of a, uh, of a West Coast smelling IPA. Um, I mean, it comes from, what is Minnesota considered, the Midwest? East, I call everything east up here the East Coast. But yeah, definitely has that, uh, like that very, very West Coast uh, reminiscent nose of, uh, to me. Lots of grapefruit, orange, uh, tangerine. Uh, there's something sweet in there too. Almost like a white grape skin or like peaches or something. something there's something sweet in there. But yeah, you get like that earthy kind of piney dankness kind of in the background. But uh, for a 9% beer, I don't smell any any alcohol in that, which is crazy. I mean, I've said it in other videos. I don't know how these guys are brewing these huge beers and you can't smell it. So let's go and dig in. Dan, thank you, sir. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Wow. I don't know what that, does it say what the IBUs on this are? There's a good amount of bitterness uh, middle of the mouth on that up front. You get that like kind of very bright citrus, orange, grapefruit, tangerines, uh, like that bitter kind of lemon zest, grapefruit pith. There's like an earthiness to, in there though to me, uh, kind of middle of the mouth of the bitterness. It's like a kind of dank, piney, almost reminds me of like smelling Christmas trees, which might sound weird, uh, but that piney kind of grassy note is in there. Uh, earth, like earthy is just what keeps coming to my mind when I taste that. Very dry finish. Ex extremely dry. My, I mean, my, your tongue feels really, really dry when you swallow that. Good amount of bitterness on there though. The more I smell this as it warms up in my hand, um, you get a little bit of the booze on there. I mean, 9%, it's kind of hard to, uh, to hide that. That's a really, really good IPA though. I like that a lot. Um, much more bitter since we're, I, was, I saw a video talking about how Hetty Topper and this are like the two best canned beers. If we're gonna compare this to Hetty Topper, Hetty Topper is much sweeter than this. Um, much more uh, like fruity, um, peachy kind of pineapple -y. This, you get citrus, um, but you get like that dank kind of earthy quality to it. Um, and a lot, I think it's a lot more bitter tasting 
uh, than Hetty Topper was, but this is freaking amazing. I'm glad I finally got to try this, and Dan sent me a 12-pack of this, so <laughs> I've got plenty of abrasive to, to last me. That's awesome stuff. Um, it gets a 100 on Beer Advocate. Is this a perfect beer? Probably not, um, but it's up there. It's definitely world-class. I'm going to give it a... Should we give it a 99? Just to be a dickhead, not give it a hundred. I'm giving it a 99. <laughs> awesome stuff. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I would say this is a West Coast style IPA uh, with the with the dankness and the citrus and um, the no it's got a great nose. Really, really good. Very easy drinking for nine percent. It's it's not like that laborious. Wow, like wow, this is heavy, boozy, very drying. Good stuff from Surly. Awesome, Dan. Thanks for sending this. So I'm gonna wrap this one up. I'm out of here. As always, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for subscribing. If you've had a brace of this year in 2015, let me know what you think. I think it's great. Awesome, awesome stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Cheers.